Products.com has now released a new economy kit for Canon's very newest printers like the TS9120, 8120, and 6120. Also, their TR7520 and 8520, both of those also. They take the new 280, 281 cartridges. Now, right now, there's no refillable cartridges available or chips or chip resetters. So, Ink Products came up with a very simple refill kit. So you can take the existing can of cartridges and refill them. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm running solid blues because I want that blue right there to coat out. And then I'm going to show you how to fill it. Now what you're going to need with the kit, you're going to get the special drill size that you need for the plugs. You're going to get the orange refill clips. Now if you have the can of clips, you can use those too, but these are a little bit more secure, and they'll they'll you can use them over and over again. Sometimes that cannon chip, the little tabs break. So now I'm going to be running, oh maybe ten or twelve of these, and I'm going to be out of ink. Then I'm going to show you how you're going to fill it, and turn off the ink monitor. If you notice, the yellow I already turned off the ink monitor. I've already filled the yellow. So as soon as the cyan gives me the warning, then I'll show you how to do it. Now, in a lot of my videos, I always make a little workstation where I fill a cup with ink. In the kit, you're going to get safety tips so you don't stick yourself, and you're going to be able to fill it right up. Now you see you're going to get that exclamation. I got on the cyan because I've been running a lot of cyan solid. So this can happen for the video. Okay, I recommend you're going to take it out now and fill it. Now, you can fill these cartridges anytime you feel like it. Because once the ink level goes down and doesn't report anymore, you just go in there and fill it when you want. You don't want it to run dry or empty. Because that could cause some problems for the printhead. So it's better to keep refilling it than stopping. Now in the future maybe we'll have the chips and cartridges and an ink tank system and you won't have to worry about this. But for now, instead of constantly buying cartridges, you can just refill them. Now, these are the cartridges that came with the printer. So I'm going to refill them. I'm going to open this up. Something unique, most of the cans always had the little red lights. Well on these models now, the newer models, they eliminated the, the red lights. So I'm going to take the cartridge out and then I'll put it in the orange clip. Now if you have the cannon clip and you want to try that, that's fine. But you got to be careful because sometimes those cannon clips can cause it to leak when you're filling it. Rubber gloves in case you don't want to get ink all over your fingers. But you take it out. You see how it goes in the loop? and then you'll be able to clamp it down so you'll be able to close it right up and they are secure these hold it very secure hold that can of carts very secure in there and then you're going to snap down the front and that's how simple it is to do it and then I would recommend something here that you get a little exacto knife now you don't need one but I kind of like them because it makes it easier to take away the label that you have to do and then kit you're going to get the stick pin. That's going to remove the sealing ball and the cartridge, which you won't need anymore. So if the pin gets dull or doesn't work, they're easy enough to find any place, staples or anything. So you don't have to really do any extra work other than that. The sealing ball is right under this little square blacked out area. You don't have to take the label off. It's very difficult to do that anyway. Okay, so that's where we're going to be doing it. So I'll be setting it down and use the Ignacto knife to go around it so I can expose that sealing ball. Okay, now using the Exacto knife, I'm going to go right around in the circle here. You'll be able to feel that little ball underneath there. There it is. That's what I like about the Exacto knife. It makes it easy. And that exposes it right there. Okay. 
So there it is right there. Now I take this little stick pin and I go right on into it. I push it in as hard as I could because then I'll be able to pop it up. There it goes. Now we're not going to need that again, so I'm going to throw it away. Now, then I drill it, take my time. Once I break through, then I clean it up, kind of wiggle it like this. I like it this way better than, than trying to force that plug back in there. There you go. There. Now you take the plug, and the plug's going to go down in there. See that? Because it's got to be very flush, because there's no room in that printer. If it sticks up too high, it'll hit. There. Now if I was going to fill it, I wouldn't have put the plug in yet. I, can, I get the syringe, and I'll fill the syringe, and I'll go in there and fill that. So I go over here. I draw up some ink. I come over. I just get over the top and go slow. Take your time. Give it a second or two. Because what happens, there's a sponge in there. It's going to give you time for that ink to... You know, get into that sponge so you get more ink in. You don't have to fill it as, as often. And here's what I'm filling. I'll bring this over here. I'm filling right there, that, that sponge area. And there's where the plug is, or the ceiling ball, rather. That's where that ceiling ball is. So we're going to go right on in, fill it up. Now, if they're XLs, you're going to be able to fill this chamber and that chamber. But because these are the standard cartridges, you can only fill that one chamber. They blocked it off. They did that deliberately because there's no way to get it through. So if you're going to do a lot of refilling, I would suggest you buy, bite the bullet and buy their XLs. Okay, there you go. I slowly go. It takes quite a bit. See that little bubble up? Okay, take it out. Now you can return the syringe and the ink to the bottle. Wipe it off, get your uh, plug, put it right on in and push down solid. Okay. Now I always have a piece of paper towel handy because what I want to do is, I'm, I'm kind of rushing it for the video, but I'm going to take it out of the, the clip. And then I, I just kind of blot it a little bit. See? Just in case there's ink leaking, dripping all over, I don't want that. That's how you, simple it is to fill Just go ahead and put it in. Now you're not going to be able to reset the chip, but that's okay. We're going to shut off the closed it up. It didn't even print a sheet. And it's showing me that I got the support code 16. Ink may have run out in the cartridges. Or in that cartridge. So, that's okay. There's the red X. So I'm going to say okay. Just push and hold the okay. It up and I closed it. Still saying it's detecting... So I'm going to hold the stop. Got to hold it in for about, oh, three or four seconds. There it goes. There, now it went over. Okay. Now it'll start to print again. Now the ink monitor has been shut off. That's how you do it. Now first I opened it up, let it come over, let it go back, and then held in that stop button. So now I can continue to keep printing and filling that cartridge. Okay, here comes out another scrap glue that I was printing. So now I can stop it. That wants me to open up the panel and close it. That's because I... There you go. I had pushed the close when I did that. There you go, that's what I wanted to show you. Cyan and yellow are now turned off. So now I can keep filling them. The best thing is if you had two sets, because you're constantly rotating them, and then you won't run out of ink completely. And there's the blue. So go to inkproducts.com for the latest refill kit. And this is our economy refill kit. You're going to get the ink, you're going to get the drill, you're going to get everything it takes to fill your OEM cartridges. And by the way, these are the standard cartridges that came with the printer. 
you can see I have the plugs in and it's working fine now the next time I fill it put it in the orange clip take out the plug fill it up put it back in and put it in oh by the way once you shut off the ink monitor it won't come back up and give you the error codes another great product from inkproducts.com let you know that if you put it in a brand new can of cartridge the ink monitor comes back up but if you were to put in the filled cartridge that we just had in there then it would show no ink so we're not damaging the printer all we're doing is shutting off the ink monitor